What's up guys and welcome back to another Minecraft mod showcase video. This video I'm gonna be doing a mod showcase on what on the weather on the localized weather mod. So this mod adds a, a new weather system into the game, new clouds, a bunch of new items and blocks to showcase. So let's start with these ones. So yeah, let's start with this one, the sand. As you, as you can see, there's now placeable layers you can place down and you can make entire full blocks out of this if you really want to which is kind of cool and then again you can also stack you can also make a stir out of this which is kind of cool and this only happens when there's a sandstorm in the desert area so only when there's a desert and there's a sandstorm that, that happens then you got the anemometer or this thing i forgot what, what this one wait, what, what was this one this one was the anemometer this one was the wind vane so the wind vane pretty much shows you which direction the wind is uh, the wind is going towards which is kind of cool and this thing is pretty much and the anemometer is pretty much the, the the thing that when it gets windy on there's a tornado nearby this thing will go around and spin like crazy then we got the deflector which this thing is actually amazing this thing you really want to have this in your house or a tornado will destroy it so yeah so the weather deflector it has two options you can pick from by pressing right click so the first one is kill thunderstorms and deadlier so any thunderstorms and higher level that will be instantly destroyed and this one prevents block damage so this one which means tornadoes and other things will not be able to do any damage to your house or buildings and then we got the siren this is the weather siren so when there's a tornado nearby or cyclone this thing will go off and it will sound extremely loud which i'm not going to showcase right now uh, then we have the weather radar. Now this thing is really important to have and this thing is amazing. So this thing pretty much uh, This thing has a huge radius and it shows you which storm activities are going on in the air in the area uh, There could be rainstorms lightning storms wind storms hail storms tornadoes cyclones sand storms sp water spouts or everything you can really imagine on this and yeah this is oh yeah this is another version i made myself this is i put away the radar and i also put a bunch of carpet just to make it look like an actual radar which is kind of sick i got that one from a from somebody else oh yeah if you're wondering how i made the floating the carpets float i put a um, string on the ground and this is actually a very genius way to do it just put string and you can put the carpets on it and this is this you can make your own radar as well <laughs> And then we also got this one. This is a also si this is also a siren. This is the manual redstone siren. And I believe that this one uh when there's a tornado, this thing goes off and it emits a redstone signal to nearby uh machines and things like that. So when there's a tornado, this can go off or this thing has to be powered by something before uh the other things begin to work. Or like machines. Then we got the tornado sensor. This thing is the exact same thing, but like this thing actually no, it's not the exact same thing. When there's a tornado nearby, I think this thing will actually um, transmit a uh, redstone signal to the machines. That's why I put pistons over here and stuff like that. So when there's a tornado, which I'm gonna be spawning over there, and that. Then we got the wet item. This thing doesn't do anything. This thing is actually used to craft the tornado siren and other stuff. So this is an actual item you have to use to craft other things. Then you got the placeable sensor layer which you can actually dig up from the these when you find in the desert and there's a sandstorm you also got the pocket sand which you can hold down right click and you can spew a bunch of um, sand particles that also leave these on the ground so these happens around right the desert and you can also manual or you can click it manually or you can hold it down if you want it's pretty cool and then we got this machine and i'm gonna put this one over here because this one can actually get really destructive this is the weather machine so as soon as i place this down it's gonna start raining let's see there's little droplets there's very dark clouds up there that, are, that have just developed and now as you can see there there's there are rain particles on the ground and now it starts to get uh, it starts to intensify even more it gets even more crazier and it's also a setting where you can make the rain actually look a lot more cooler and this mod does have a bunch of settings as well where you can change the performance the compatibility the preference and the dimensions you also got the um, events page where you can change all the stuff if you really want to i'm not going to go through this because there's a lot of stuff so you can see there's a lot of rain now that's very dark up there and if i go to my settings and if i if i put this on it's going to cause a lot of lag so if i put the particle 
precipitation mm -hmm. it changes to rain where the rain looks a lot more cooler and like a lot more uh, realistic and there's also particles on the ground and then we got the lightning storm next so this is the lightning storm it's pretty much nothing really changes there's only just lightning bolts from the sky as you can see if i if i'm not mistaken if you go to the radar, it also shows you what the activity is going on. As you can see, there's, a, there's rain particles. That's what the activity is going on. Then we got the windstorm. The high wind. And when that happens, the clouds at the top begin to spin. And as you can see, there's also rain particles everywhere. The rain also kind of moves in a certain direction as well, which is kind of cool. So there's actually rotation up there. You can see on the radar that um, there's a lightning bolt icon and a uh, and like little particles and things as well. So yeah, and as you can see, if we go back here, um, if we go to this, then it shows you over here. There's a radar, and as you can see, the thermometer is spinning like crazy, and the wind vane also shows you the direction of the wind and where it's going. So yeah, these these storms will never move if you if you use this machine. Then we have the hailstorm, and this one what well, this one pretty much is as you can see, it changes and there's hailstorms hailstones now falling from the sky as you can see. And these oh jeez okay, these can actually do damage to you if you stand underneath. They do at least a little bit of damage, not much, but yeah, it's gonna take a while for me. And I don't wanna just uh, you know sit out here and um, get hit by these. And then if we press this again, an F1 tornado. So yeah, as you see, the radar also shows there's an F1 tornado on the ground. I'm gonna break that. I move this far away so that it doesn't do any damage. And this is the F1 tornado. It's only gonna sit there. Shut up. Now as you can see, this thing will go off, so when there's a tornado nearby, the sensor will go off and they will activate all the redstone machines and blow the pistons. So this is the siren. Oh, I just broke that one. So now this siren doesn't actually work, so you need, you need redstone power in this. And you can see mobs can get picked up by the tornado, as you can see. So this iron does not work unless it's powered by redstone, which I'm actually gonna do right now. So yeah, look. So when the siren is powered by the redstone, it, it it turns red, and when you break this, it turns back to a, its normal normal colors. You can see by the corners over here when it turns. So that's pretty cool as well. So yeah, uh, that's. That's really it for these. So what else do we have? We do have a lot of other stuff in the next video I'm going to showcase. It's probably going to be the commands when there's a lot of new things. Like you have different commands and stuff as well. But it's not over yet since we can also switch, change this to a uh, tropical one cyclone, which is a uh, hurricane. It's a category one hurricane, as you can see. The hurricanes look a lot more messed up. And a lot more weirder, but like there's a lot more particles and they're a little bit bigger in size, but they, they're not as destructive as the tornadoes. So that's the cyclone. Let's see what the next one is. It's probably gonna go back to rain, yeah. Then we got the weather machine is off, so. Oh, there goes that one. So yeah, that's a new setting which I've never seen before. So when you, you this was a new one. So you got offsetting which turns everything off. There's nothing else going on, and you, it goes back to rain and lightning, high wind, tail, F1 tornado. So yeah, that's really it for this mod. This is part one. Part two is going to be me showcasing the commands and the rest of the tornado cyclones and other things. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.